All right, so welcome back to White House Farm. Woo, uh, hot out today. What we're uh, working on today is, you guessed it, our little sump pump here. And I think we're gonna be, end up replacing it. We're gonna take it out, see if it might be clogged with a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, this thing is uh, 30 plus years old, I'm assuming. So let's go ahead and pull it out. I got a bucket of water up here. We'll go ahead and test it. Also take a look at it, see if it's just clogged up. But uh, I'd also like to get a stronger one to put in here because uh, it's no fun when uh, you have water filling up in your boat and you want to get it out quick so you really do want a good pump. That's one, one thing you definitely want on your boat. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out the video on installing the blower fan. And yeah, check out all the other videos installing all types of goodies electronic ignitions starter everything so all right let's go ahead and pull this out and take a look at it so it was definitely clogged with a whole bunch of crap in there I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the hose and see what else is in it. But you can see all the stuff I put back there, I was pulling off. All right, let's go ahead and get this sucker in the bucket. All right, so we just had to move some stuff around here and now we can get this submerged in the bucket here definitely a lot of junk And this is a 500 gallon per hour capacity three head at 425 gallons, 12 volt. Hose size is three quarter, three quarter inner diameter, one amp. And this is a Mayfair Jettison model 1225, just in case people are wondering. All right, go ahead. All right. So this will get some of the junk out of there too. Actually working pretty good. All right, go ahead and shut it off. Thank you, babe. Mm -hmm. Is that a pump? Yep. Oh, we can actually see through it now. Before we couldn't see through. That sucker was clogged pretty good. You can see all the junk that's in there. And I pulled a lot out too. All right, so let's blow this line out now all right go ahead and hit the button
And there it goes. Good job. Okay, shut it off. All right, so I'm thinking that this thing was just clogged all high heaven there. But I'd still like to install a new one. Uh, like I said, this one's a 500 gallon per hour. Maybe get like a 750, a thousand. But we'll see. All right, so I was actually able to get this clean, cleaned off enough that you can see there's a lock and unlock. They'll pull it off and the, been cleaning the inside out. That was all compacted in there. So that definitely was part of why it was being restricted. So I'm going to finish cleaning this out. Look at all that. Just oil and stuff from the years. So. This looks good though. Alright, let me clean it up. Definitely looks better. All right, so I'm just gonna mount that back in there. I think it's all cleaned out and working. So we'll see. We'll see if I get a new one or not. <laughs> all right, so we got that all cleaned up back in there, unclogged, and it is actually good to go. So, all right, we're all set here. Time to move on to the next thing here, and uh, not sure what that is yet, but it'll be something. <laughs> so, all right, hope you guys like, enjoy, subscribe, and as usual, we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. You can't say goodbye without saying goodbye to me. All right, Olaf, we'll see you in the next one. All right, bye, Obo. Hi guys!